Hello everybody. Today's reading is going to come from John chapter 4. Right? John chapter 4. Right. So from verse 7. Or actually let's just read from verse 4. But he needed to go through Samaria. Right? Jesus went to, through Samaria. So he came to a city of Samaria. Which is called Sicha. Near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son. Now Jacob's well, there was Jesus there for being weary, tired from his journey, set this by the well. It was about the sixth hour. So about the sixth hour, Jesus sat at the well and waited for the Samaritan woman. He knew the Samaritan woman's going to come there around about the sixth hour, right? Now if you look at the around about the sixth hour, right, that I mean, Jesus came to came there and said everything to this woman, right? So, a woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Give me a drink from this. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then this, the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, asked a drink from me? A Samaritan woman, for Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. With Samaritans, eh? Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with and then from what what from where basically from where it happened let me just read this properly it says that the woman said to him sir you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep where then do you get that living water are you greater than the father our father jacob who gave us this well and drink from him himself as well as the sons and the livestock jesus answered and said to her whoever drinks of this water will thirst again but whoever drinks of the water i shall give him will never thirst but the water that i shall give him will become in him a fountain of living sprinkling up water now of course jesus is speaking about himself right pouring out the holy spirit within us even the day that he died on the cross and 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 sacrificed that that day of atonement as well the day in the upper room as well right there when the holy spirit just came down right and hovered in acts and 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 it's like a spring of living water living within us right so she had a bit of this because it carries on the woman said to him sir give me this living water that i may not thirst nor come here to draw right then of course it carries on and then the woman then jesus said go call your husbands to come here the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. Okay, they know, of course, later on, you, you, during the scriptures, you also read here, yeah, uh, Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither worship on this mountain nor in Jerusalem, the Father. You worship that you do not know. We know that we worship for salvation is the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship him, worship the Father in the spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth okay so jesus said to her i who i speak to you am he right 
because in verse 25 it says, The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. Then he comes, he comes, he will tell us all things. So when Jesus comes, he will tell us all things, right? This Messiah, this Messiah, Christ will tell us all things. Okay, then he of course, um, then they, okay, they sit, the disciples come back. And then we all know the Samaritan woman goes back and she tells him, tells everybody, look, this man who told me everything, the he isn't he the Messiah, the Christ? And, and they go out and listen to him and they come back and, and then they tell her, right, this. Then they say to the Samaritan woman, right, in verse 42, Now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him. And we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. How do they know? I'm like, how do they know that this is the Savior of the world? Of course, through through generations, uh, from Old Testament right through, the, there's the prophecy coming out: the Messiah will come, the Messiah will come, the Christ will come. And um, you look at it again. I'm like, the Messiah has come, right? And I witnessed him. And listen to and then the news straight away this is the savior of the world now if i look at it in the new testament this is the first saying right that that, that this is the savior of the world because i'm like I'm, in, in peter jesus asked peter um the disciples like who am i and uh, you are the living christ um so and jesus died on the cross but Take note, the sixth hour, Jesus came in the well and she came. Uh, salvation was poured out to her at the sixth hour at noon. We live our lives right through, right? A sinful life. Till the day that we get saved, right? That's our sixth hour. That's our noon day. That's salvation right there. And then implanted in, in us living water because it's two wells. The one well speaks of the well in the ground, right? And now the well, to me personally, the well in the ground spiritually speaks about the woolly things in the world with the run dry. But if you tap into the well, right? Not the well of the flesh, because the well of the flesh is, 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 is literally dug and is built by man. But what's built from God is living water flinging up from within, within us, a river of living water. What is so important is that living water funneling in, inside us. Joy, love, peace, gentleness, kindness, patience, right? All this jumping in, in, in us through the love of God, right? Because once you, once you got the love of God, you got the peace of God in you. The living water within you. And, and, and once this was poured out, right? You go out there and you tell people about Jesus Christ. You go out there and tell everybody that Jesus Christ has changed my life. I am no more the same. I am no more the drunkard. He told me, you know, the Samaritan woman says, he, he showed me every, he told me everything I have ever done. Right, the gift of prophecy, the gift of knowledge is there. Right. So my, my prayer for you today, right, that Jesus can meet your need. Sometimes you go through a hardship in life, right, and we trust in God for a miracle finances, healing, uh, whatever it is for a son to get saved, a sister to get saved, your daughter to get saved, a family member to get saved, a healing, um, like I say, finances, uh, maybe it's, it's some miracle, something, a business uh, deal needs to come through, right? but the six hours coming with that deal has to face, that it has to come into being, so I speak forth the love of God over you right now. That I trust, I pray, and I come in, agree, in agreement that miracles, signs, and wonders will happen in your life. Miracles will happen. That the bundle of joy will, your bundle of joy inside will just come back to those who are weak and disappointed. May you just receive the joy of God right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray, Lord Father God, right now to touch each one right now to listen to the voice of our to do the sound of this voice, Lord Father God, because this is you, Lord Father, within me, using me as an instrument right now in the name of Jesus. I speak forth divine, divine appointments, divine appointments, where everything that is made new 
in life. You trust in God for it, it's there. You trust seeking God for what's my will in my life. I do not know to the left, to the right. Why am I born for? What's my calling? What's my purpose? Seek the scriptures. Everything is in the word of God. Look there. Read. Stay in his presence daily in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless each one of you.